Welcome back to Go at 923. A startup in 2020, one local company is now a leader in the local EV space. That company called Land hand builds electric motorcycles and develops batteries that power them. And since hitting the road, Land has changed trends and rewritten rules on what to expect from an EV. 3 News' is Austin Love has more in today's Mission Possible. It's been growing at warp speed. It's been a lot of fun. Land knows what it's like to move fast. This young company focused on light electric vehicles and batteries has taken the lead in Ohio's EV space with a newly renovated 30,000 square foot manufacturing facility that came online two months ago. Now they're accelerating. This line behind us um, is going to allow us to, to do a couple thousand bikes a year, depending on staff. So right now, um, you know, we have pretty high expectations for it. We've tripled our staff. We have uh, exponentially grown our production. Uh, we've gone from building you know, a bike a month to six, seven bikes a week. Land's flagship product is the District, a category bending vehicle that is three bikes in one. An e-bike, an e-moped, and an electric motorcycle. In e-bike mode, you don't need a license to ride. Controlled through software, it allows the EV to grow with the rider. Which is a huge benefit if you're moto curious, and you want to try motorcycling, but you've always been hesitant. The district can travel up to 120 miles on a single charge and ranges in price from $7,200 to $11,000. Land's R&D design and manufacturing are all under one roof in Cleveland's Gordon Square District. There's no framework, there's no standard on exactly how to build an electric motorcycle. So everything we're doing here is, is new and innovative and outside the box. They're getting noticed too turning heads at area EV conferences, winning design awards, and taking Gear Junkie's best in show at CES this year in Las Vegas. Land's approach and product made Chris Davis move from Austin, Texas, to help build the business here in Cleveland. Taking a startup company from just a handful of people and growing it into a manufacturing facility where we're producing hundreds and thousands of bikes a year, it's a big challenge and it's very interesting to me. Attracting talent and keeping it here as part of the blueprint. Working with the Greater Cleveland Partnership, Land gets interns from Cleveland State and Case Western Reserve Universities. We want to keep that those talented young people here in Cleveland instead of sending them to the coast. You know, because like Tesla or like Rivian or whoever, they're going to pull from this area for their engineering talent. And uh, it, it's been a trend for a very long time, and we're trying to shake that up a little bit. Just the versatility of electric battery power is really where land is going to make a difference in the EV space. Attracting customers includes tapping into their feedback to build an EV community from design to assembly line to hitting the streets. We're all passionate about sharing this experience that our bike creates and it's so much fun to come to work every day. Austin Love, 3 News. Well, the future is here. Land hopes to make some announcements about those new projects pretty soon. They're working on introducing a lower cost entry level bike manufactured right here in Cleveland. Very, very cool. Well, time is now.